Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome to Tricentis Tosca Automation Tutorial. As you all know, Tricentis has released new version of Tosca 16 on 8th December 2022. Okay, so I have got a lot of requests from my subscribers to start training sessions on Tosca 16 covering different concepts of automation. So this is our first session where I'm going to teach you how can we download and install the latest version of Tasca. Please do subscribe to the channel, click on bell icon, you'll receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. So after this session, I'm going to teach you step by step how can we automate the test cases by using Tricentis Tosca. I'm going to cover most of the basic concepts of Tricentis Tosca by using latest version Tosca 16. Okay. Okay. So in this session, I'm going to teach you how to download and install latest version Tosca 16. Okay. So if you see on the screen, there are four steps that you need to follow. First, you need to register with your organization email ID using the link that is displaying on the screen. So I'm going to paste these links in the description so that you can use the links from the description section. Okay. And then you have to log in to your support hyphen hub dot dot com by using the registered email ID in the step one. Right. And then you need to request for a license using the below link basically the link that is specified in the third step okay once you request for the license the license will be approved by the corresponding tricentis manager so once it is approved you are going to receive an email to download and install the tasca 16 version Okay, to download and install the Tosca 16 version, you need to use the link that is specified in the last step. Okay, I'm going to paste all these links in the description. Okay, so now let's jump onto the system and see how can we perform all these actions and how can we download and install Tricentis Tosca in Windows machine. Okay, so what is our first step? You have to register with your organization email ID using link right as i said earlier so this is the link let me go to the link uh, it's support hub dot dot com okay here you will find a register you will find register link you need to click on register and then you have to provide all the fields here okay mister and what is your name first name last name and then your mobile number, which is optional. And then what is your country, um, street, city, zip. And then language, what is your time zone, right? And you need to provide your business address, okay? So you need to provide your business address, business email, that means organization email. So you cannot provide your personal email. Keep this in mind, okay? And then you need to confirm your organization email and provide your password and the confirm the password right and then click on i agree to the private policy and then i'm not a robot right and then you need to click on submit so as soon as you register you are going to receive an email to your organization email id okay and then you need to activate you need to confirm that the email has been received once that is done all you need to do is our next step is you need to log into support hyphen hub dot com using the credentials that you have provided while registering okay so for me so i've already logged in here okay if you see support data uh, and then i am already logged into my user okay and then once you log into your support hyphen hub dot by using 
your organization credentials you need to request for license using below link okay let me show you that so this is the link i'm going to paste this link in the description i'm going to paste all the links in the description okay you can access all these links from the description okay so you need to click on request cloud training license as soon as you click on request cloud training license the request will be sent okay stating that deploying the status will be deploying i already sent this request earlier that's why it's got deployed and it's got approved once your training license cloud training license been approved then the state will be changed to deployed okay so in my case i've already raised a request as soon as you raise a request you will receive an email stating that the request has been sent to our support team okay once approved the status will be changed to deployed and then you are going to receive an email stating that the tricentis manager has been approved your license and then what you need to do you need to go to support hub tricentis.com third party license let me show you where uh, what i'm talking about so you need to go to this link okay i'm going to paste this link in the description okay and then you have to select tricentis tosca under tricentis tosca you can see tosca 16 version right you need to click on tosca 16 as soon as you click on tosca 16 it's going to download a .exe file okay what i already downloaded okay let me show you what it's going to download okay so it will download this particular yeah so it's going to download your present tosca software okay so let me show you how it looks like okay okay so this is the zip file so it will be downloaded in, in the form of zip file okay so this way tricentis see tricentis tosca 16 okay and then you need to extract tricentis tosca 16 okay you need to extract the zip file once you extract you just need to follow the instructions you need to click on double click on this lts 16 lts.exe file and then see because i already installed it is asking me to see i mean either uninstall repair or modify because i already installed in your case you will get a button i mean you will get a um, agreement license agreement you need to check the check box and then you need to click on next and follow the instructions that displays on the screen it's very very simple self explanatory okay once you complete your installation once you complete your installation you should see a tasca commander how it's going to show so this is the tasca commander that you should see on the menu okay and you need to click on tasca commander as soon as you click on tasca commander a commander will be opened if you see this is my tasca commander right and if you observe about tasca so i i i, I clicked on tasca commander one more time that's why it's showing see if see this is my latest tricentis tasca 16 version okay very very latest which is released on 8th december i think 7th december or 8th december okay and if you go to about tasca so it shows you the version as 16 once that is done how to get your license how to basically activate your license so the way is you have to click on project right i opened the tasca click on project go to license and here because your training license is cloud cloud based license you need to click on connect 
and then you have to select connect to cloud hosted license server because whenever you register and request for the cloud license for the training right a license related to cloud will be issued for the user okay you need to select cloud hosted license in case if you have a self hosted license then you can select this okay in my case it's a cloud hosted license and then click on okay and then you need to provide the credentials that you have given while registering when you are registering to your support tricentit support.hub right so the same email id and the same password you have to provide here okay so let me quickly provide the same email id and password that i have registered with okay as soon as you click on OK, what it will do? It's going to retrieve your cloud license. OK, so retrieving your cloud licenses. And then, yes, you have successfully connected to the license server and can use Tosca Commander right away. Click on OK. And then you can start creating your first project by using latest Tosca 16 version. OK, so in my next session, I'm going to teach you what are all the new features and what are all the different modifications that has been accommodated in the latest version of Tricentis Tosca 16 version. I'm going to teach you the advantages, what are all the new features added, what are all the features that are got modified, right? So all these concepts I'm going to explain you in my next session. After that, we are going to start automating our test cases. I'm going to cover a lot of different concepts. How to automate test cases by using Tasca latest version 16. Stay tuned. Hope you all understand the concepts of downloading and installing Tasca latest version 16. Please do subscribe to the channel, click on bell icon, You'll receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. Thank you.